J means love and faith, good luck. And early in a primitive society, about uh, 600 years ago, already they already made the pendant, the almonds of jade, okay, of the jade. So in here, and that is why a lot of family like, like to keep a jade piece and pass down generation to generation. It's something for love and good luck. And jade wear is something that has been widely used in Chinese religious ceremony and feng shui. Feng shui, yeah, this kind of superstition. And here, so in, in many people's mind, jade grain, when some foreigner came to China, they said, I'm not green person, so I will not wear jade, yeah. But actually, jade has many colors. Every people can find their favorite color in jade. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, there are 60 different kinds of jade. It's impossible for you to remember all their names and their features. So here, I would like only to give you two names. Yeah, two names. Remember these two names? Because Chinese jade family can be roughly classified into two groups. They are jadeite and nephrite. J-A-D-E-I-T-E -E means hot jade. Nephrite, N-E-P-H-R-I-T-E, -E, soft jade. Okay, so that means the jade stone quality is firstly told by the hardness. Okay, same like diamond, just the harder, the better. And then color, purity, translucency, all matter with the jade value. So that means a piece of very valuable jade should be very hard, has beautiful color, the clearer, more transparent, the better. Okay, so that's the value, that's the, the way we qualify the jade. And then let's talk about the jade stone hardness. We use the international scale of the stone hardness. It's called more hardness. It has 10 points. We know diamond is the hardest stone in the world. So diamond is 10. Jade are very different. Jade could be 3 to 8. So that means jade value could be very different. Some are very soft, opaque, easy to carve. So they are less valuable. Some jade are harder, more beautiful, narrow, and more difficult to work. So they are more expensive. Okay? So sometimes, some kind of jade, the value can exceed the value of diamond okay, because it has carving, right? Okay, so here, let's see some different kinds of jade. First, the hardest jade in China, that is called jadeite, J-A-D-E-I-T-E. -E. This kind of jade is quite hard. The hardest of jade is over 7, it's about 7 to 8. So that means it's very difficult to carve. This jade is from southwestern part of China, Yunnan area. It's kind of jade mined in the rivers. And uh, with water flowing over the stone every day, the stone looks just like a pebble. It's always an oval shape. And on the surface, the layer of brown plates wrapping up the whole thing is what we call the skin of the stone. Mm -hmm. And uh, every year we go to the jadeite mine, we go there to collect the jadeite material. There's a very old tradition in the business that you have to gamble on the stone. That means the workman won't open the jade for you, he will just make a little card on the stone, show you the color inside and make it. You have to qualify it, guess it, and then you need to bid for it. If you are very knowledgeable, experienced, and good luck, you can be a millionaire at the night. Pay little, but get much more than what you expect. Yeah, very interesting. And this is a waste of a piece of statue we already got, and because it has cracks, very serious cracks. So it's okay, but, but we won't show that is the nice apple green color in the stone here. Jade dye has many colors. Maybe we'll see jade dye in white, black. Orange, purple, gray, so a lot of Just in gray, there are different different kinds of gray. Like this kind of very deep one, it's what we call bronze gray. And some are called spinach gray, and apple gray, and emerald gray. So every kind of color has different kind of value. Which one is most valuable? This must be this kind of very fresh, beautiful apple gray. Okay? So when we find a piece of jade dye piece, we'll choose the best part for the jewelry and the rest part for the statue. So jade dye statue. We always look like this multicolor. One stone with different kind of color because it's chemical very rich, made up of different colors. And this one has two typical color of jadeite. There are lavender and green. Look at the lavender color. Okay, so lavender color is a new fashion of jadeite. Many ladies favorite. Okay, so but this kind of jade never come to very big size. Just enough to make jewelry, so you can see some beautiful lavender jewelry. Okay, so and for this kind of stone, it has different color. So craftsmen need to put the different details on different parts. Different parts, okay? It's what we call smart carving. They need to use their imagination to create a design to try to make a full use of natural color, and the design has to be readable. Okay, so it takes three or four months to finish a piece like that. Okay, you can see the. Curve.
carry inside, very slow. Cut across in high speed. Every time just take off the stone powder a little bit. So it's curved bit by bit. Three months will do. Like polish will take about five or six days to do. Okay? So this is jadeite. Nice for jewelry and little statue. And then let's talk about this knife right, soft jade. And knife right in China is a big family. Except the jadeite, the rest of jade are all belong to, I mean, are all soft jade, okay? So here, and uh, soft jade also value could be different because they're in different hardness, different levels. And one I want to show you that is the most typical one, most common one. This is what we call the Xiu jade, I S I U. Xiu in Chinese means pretty mountain. So the feature of jade that is from mountain, so it's always come to bigger size. You can see bigger statue in this kind of jade. We like to put more intricate design on that because it's easier than jade die to curve. A piece of curve like this one with a base. Totally will take one look at only one month to finish. Okay, with diamond in one month. For this kind of jade, the clear roll and more transparent, the greener, shinier, the better. So this one is very good. It got finish and frame. Because jade cutting work in ancient time was something we, I mean, contributed to the emperor gods. So they all have good wishes for it. And the fish means richness and praise long life. Okay? One must work for shield jade like that. And then you will see some jade, mostly the jade are clear and transparent or translucent. But sometimes you can see some jade opaque. Normally speaking, the jade opaque is less valuable than the jade clear. But sometimes there are exceptions, okay? So remember this kind of jade, which is called Du Jade. This stone is very heavy because stone is really hard. And it's from the middle part of China. The feature of this jade that is multicolored. One stone always has different color. This one has two colors. So they put the grass and morning glory on the green part, tree trunk on the dark part. So some of the stone has five colors even, five or six colors even, kind of color. So that means it's needs very good imagination to create a perfect design to fit the stone. So in this kind of special condition of the stone and artistic design can make the work unique. So that is why this jade called Du Jade, mean, Du in Chinese means special or unique. Okay? So a piece like that, two months one open, two months one. Yes. 6.5, Curtis is 6.5, Xiu Jade is 5 or 6. Yeah. And then you still can see some red stone on the side. It looks so beautiful. Clear, transparent, and shiny, and beautifully designed. Let's say, clarity in light. What it is? It is agate. Okay. Agate, not jade. Okay, remember, agate doesn't belong to jade family. But it's many people's favorite because red color chest for love. And in Qing Dynasty, especially it was Emperor's favorite. Okay? And listen to the sound the stone makes. Oh, makes a, yeah, bell of the crystal. That's because the stone is very fun. Okay, the stone makes beautiful sound. And the hardness of the agate is about six to seven. Okay, it can be seven about. In the yeah, in, in, I mean, in, in, in the stone scale, stone scale. Okay. Okay, this is rare because of the cost. Yes, okay. And then let's take, talk about the family stone, okay? So this J is a J that's in lower quality because it's soft, okay? But it's one of the oldest Chinese J. Only in 4,000 I mean, years ago, in I mean, autumn and spring period, our kids made their annual jobs with the sales with this kind of J, okay? So, and nowadays we like to make it a very simple design, a big statue of the dragon tiger. But this family bond is also one of the very classic work. And all of them can separate one solid trade into many layers, and then they curve it. Finally, we can get five bucks in one piece of trade. And then one in one, but each one can be moved separately. Okay? It seems impossible. Some people said, did you glue them together? Actually, it seems impossible, but if you just get an idea, you can make it. Yeah, we just need an idea that it means which direction are you going, right? Okay, let me explain to you how it's made. This was made of one piece that's like this. Okay. And it was done like this. Okay, okay. and then the here secret. I reveal the secret. Yeah, and the steps. Yeah, Let's explain it step by step. Original, originally, it was a block of stone, J stone, cut it. 
polish runs. And then the secret right lays here. Very easy. We just drill the holes. Go in the center of the ball. Okay? There are 12 holes. Now we can see there's space in the holes. Through the neighboring holes, we can cut this part through. Okay, right? Cut it through. That's right now. Okay, okay, and then cut all the parts through. We can get layer outside. The first layer outside. Then move the away, cut the second layer in the same way with a little bit longer and hook chisel. Cut it. Okay, so, and then cut it out bit by bit. And then we get five layers. And some people are quite wondering what does this ball significance? Yeah, this ball really has a meaning. In the ancient time, there was an original philosophy and Confucius school. I mean, it's what we call Taoism. Taoism believed that the world was made up of five elements. There are fire, water, metal, wood, earth. So, and uh, if we want the world better, we need to make all these things harmony, be in harmony. So, and this ball means harmony. And this kind of idea has been widely used in a lot of fields of Chinese culture, like martial arts, Chinese medicine. Okay, so, <clears throat> and this is something that Thanksgiving gift was sacrificed to the God in a religious ceremony. And it means grand happiness and the harmony of the world. So that is why it's called happiness ball. But nowadays, we offer it another way. It means happiness and harmony of the family. Every layer of the ball means one generation of the family. And the whole ball means reunion and prosperity, harmony of the family. On the surface, we carve the dried and the phoenix. That symbolizes harmony between the male and the female. And 12 holes on the balls also means the 12 months of the year. Good luck of the whole year. So you can either call it family ball or happiness ball. So a piece of work like this takes one workman two weeks to finish. Okay? Two weeks? Two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Very skillful one. Okay, so and those soft edges, two quite difficult work. Okay, so 